Hey everyone, welcome back to Sip and Dip with Chelsea. For today's video, this is part of a collab. It's called Dip into Autumn, and there's a bunch of amazing ladies that we've paired up with. Marla Chris decided to start this collab for us so that we could show you guys some beautiful fall ideas for your nails. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing some artwork, super simple little pumpkins on my middle finger and my thumb. And I did use these gel colors from Beatles. It is number 610, 608, and 613. Also, I will have all of the lovely ladies linked down below. So if you wanna go check out their channels. So I filmed this a few weeks ago, so I did use dip powder liquids, but where I'm at in my application is I've already applied activator and I have filed and buffed my nails. So I am ready for my gel artwork. So I've got 610 here. This is gonna be my pumpkin base color. So I'm gonna put a little bit here on my dish and then with a brush, I'm going to start by tracing the outline of the pumpkin. So as you can see, I have my pinky resting on my other hand. This just helps keep my hand steady so it's not shaking. You could absolutely just lay your hand down on the desk or some sort of flat surface, whatever feels more comfortable to you and more natural. So one thing I wanna mention about gel is as you can see, I'm doing very thin layers. You don't want them to be thick and I'm getting just a little bit on my brush at a time. So luckily these little beetle bottles, <laughs> beetle bottles, okay, let me stop. They are very small. So it's the perfect size to just fill in this little pumpkin. And to touch it up, I'm going to go back in with my brush and just sort of finely perfect the corners and touch up any lines that I see, just making sure that the gel is even and flowing around my cuticle area and then we are going to cure for 30 seconds. So now I'm gonna do my second layer following the same steps, just starting with tracing the outline and then going back in with the bottle brush. So the reason why I didn't flash cure this, it's just my own personal opinion. I wanted to make sure that it was more cured, I guess you would say, before going in for a second full coverage layer. All right, easy peasy. We've got the base of our pumpkin done and now we're gonna go cure for 30 seconds again and move on to our outline. So unfortunately, I did not have any brown gel for this. So I'm using acrylic paint. You could absolutely use acrylic paint for this entire nail design. It's just my own personal preference to use gel. I feel like they're more forgiving, beginner friendly. They've got that pretty shine. So here I'm just, again, using a very small amount of paint on my brush and we're gonna start on tracing the outline of our pumpkin. So I find when doing curved lines, it's easiest to do it in small sections and of course move very, very slow. Now I'm going to move on to adding the lines on top of my pumpkin just to give it that definition look. And one thing I wanna mention about acrylic paint is that you do have to wait for it to dry before you can move on to doing a second coat on top of it. That's the other sort of negative, whereas with gel, you just cure and you can keep moving. And here is my own unsolicited opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. The reason why I have the gel polishes is because I felt like it was more cost effective that I bought a polish so I can use it both ways. I can do a little dab of it and use it for art. And then if I wanna use it for polish and painting my whole nail, it's super easy and I can do it both ways. So to save y'all from boredom, I went ahead and just traced over the brown lines again for a second layer off camera to give them some more definition. And here is my little pumpkin stem. 
now that the acrylic paint is dry i'm going to move on to this little yellow pastel shade so i thought the pumpkins needed a little oomph a little bit more vintage charlie brown vibes so i am adding a very light layer of this yellow just to give them a more real effect some more definition to them so because I won't be painting over top of this yellow, I'm completely done with the base of my pumpkin. I'm only gonna flash cure for five seconds and then we will move on to adding a little leaf. So this isn't exactly the green that I would probably pick for this design, but it's the best I got. So we're gonna use what we have and I'm just gonna add a tiny little leaf here and I am going to cure for five seconds. All right, now we can move on to our other pumpkin and following the same steps, I'm just gonna start by tracing an outline and here's what I wanna show you on why I love gel so much. So I didn't really care for the way this little corner piece turned out, so boop, it's gone. That's how easy it is to just swipe something off if you don't like it and now it's perfect so I can keep going. So after this, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds and off camera, I'm going to do a second layer right on top of it just to save y'all from the monotony of this. And then we will move on to our outline. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized. <laughs> I don't have a shot of moonshine sitting in that little jar, by the way. <laughs> I know it says moonshine on it. It's just rubbing alcohol. I probably should have mentioned that. Um, but I just use rubbing alcohol to clean off my brushes in between if I get anything on them and so I can reuse them for other colors. So I definitely found it much easier to just lay my finger down on the desk instead of trying to hold it up in the air. So maybe just try that first and <laughs> learn from my mistake. It's easier to just lay it down flat and then your other hand can balance off of the table. So off camera, I traced back over all of the brown outline and here's my stem. So now we can give our pumpkin a little realistic feel again. Then we can flash cure for five seconds and move on to our leaf. Once I am done with my leaf, then I am done with my pumpkins. So we're going to cure for 60 seconds for both nails so we can do our top coat. All right, I am loving these cute little pumpkins. It was so easy to do. So here's my tip. This is base gel. The reason I'm doing base gel is so that my top coat doesn't peel. I know I talked about that in my last gel method video. I will link that down below if you're curious on how I use gel liquids with dip powder. But I am doing base gel first because I did file and buff my nails super smooth. And for some reason when I do top coat, gel top coat with dip liquids, I end up with peeling. So doing a layer of base gel, cure for 60 seconds, it gives your top coat something to grab onto. So if you're having difficulties with peeling, give this a try. Gel top coat does not like smooth surfaces. So if you're buffing and then you activate, it's just not gonna give it that rough surface that it needs to hold on to something. All right, time to cure for 60 seconds. And then now we've got top coat. So same steps, we're just gonna do top coat across all of the nails and then cure for 60 seconds and we are done. So I did get this Beatles kit on Amazon and I will say I do love the colors and the products work well. They do as they're supposed to, but the top coat, I've said it a hundred times now, it's not my favorite. It has a burnt hair smell and that's the best way I can describe it. 
I absolutely 100% recommend Vividips much more than this brand. Um, but if you're just trying to get something super fast and easy, I totally get it. It'll do the job. Cure for 60 seconds and ta-da! All done! You don't have to wait for anything to dry, which is one of the amazing things about doing gel, is once you're done, you're done. I love that. So now I can just do my cuticle oil and move on with my day. Oh, <laughs> speaking of cuticle oil, there it goes. So she actually just came out with a fall trio, and I'm so excited to get mine. I can't wait to see what they smell like. I'm obsessed with all of her amazing creations. And here is the finished look. If you have some time, don't forget to go check out the other super talented, amazing ladies on YouTube. I will have it all linked down below so you can see their take on what dipping into autumn looks like. I think this came out so fun, like a soft fall glam. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.